everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I have got so much stuff to show you this week. I'm going to try to not take too long, but I'm going to go ahead and warn you. It's going to be a good one. I've got lots of good stuff. I haven't been like this excited for a Friday haul in a while, but I just, I didn't get as much as I have, you know, sometimes, but I got a lot of good stuff. So, but the thing I'm going to start off with was a surprise from a company I have never heard before. And it is, and I don't have my Invisalign in, and believe it or not, sometimes now I think I talk funnier without them because I'm used to having them in. But anyway, we'll just go with it. But this is a lipstick collection from Rachel, the beauty professor. And this is in collaboration with Christian Audette in times or by beauty professor and it says that she fell in love with the christian audette lip color last year smooth hydrating long lasting and wildly pigmented i love her vocabulary and um let's see where it ranks amongst the very best of the hundreds of lipsticks formulas i've tried in my career consequently i was over the moon to be invited to create three custom shades with the brand and i am beyond excited to now be able to share the accumulation of my efforts with you okay so the first one that she did and each one of these is named after someone in her life so the first one is named after her daughter and if you don't follow rachel you should on Instagram and on, she's got a, a, just a magnificent blog. I mean, it seems like no matter what I look up to see what shade I am, she has like awesome swatches on her blog and she loves stuff like we do, you know, like she loves all the different shades of pink, nude peach. She loves, you know, she's just a girl like us and, um, just sweet as she can be as she just adopted a baby girl she's just very, it's very rewarding to follow her you'll see her with her family and it's just great so anyway the three lipsticks that she created colors are johanna named after her daughter go lightly named after um breakfast at tiffany's and that is what i have on today and l which is a you well, I won't go into the shades yet, but is, I think her mom's name starts with L and her daughter's middle name is L. So let me um, bring you in closer because I am wearing the Go Lightly, which is the exact shade of opaque peachy beige with a satin finish that Audrey Hepburn wears in Breakfast at Tiffany's. I've searched high and low for this hue for years with a joy to be finally able to recreate it. So that is what I have on today. And I have it on with a new lip liner that I'm going to show you, or I'll go ahead and show you, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Love Trap. So what I like to do is I like to combine a warm tone with a cool tone. Either it can be the lipstick or the lip liner. Now the other day I wore in my vlog, a lot of you guys liked it when I wore Love Trap with Penelope Pink. This is one I just got. And this is a very cool tone nude. So that gave you kind of like that sandy nude lip, which is really not my favorite, but I was trying these on for the first time. I kind of just wanted to wear them. I would prefer putting this with a warmer nude and this with something like this. That is how I like to do it. So that is two things that I got. And then I ordered a backup of the Kim KW because that, yeah, Kim KW. That is one that um, I like to kind of have one in my purse and then one in my bathroom. So that kind of knocked that out too. I've got one more thing from Charlotte to show you. So anyway, back to Rachel and the Claudette Christian Audette. And so the next ones are, and I'll go ahead and show you the packaging. Very, very, very chic. Um, you know, I love crowns. I love black. I think this is just gorgeous. It has Beauty Professor on there. One thing I noticed immediately, so let me go ahead and swatch um, Go Lightly. Here it is. It's just kind of like a minimal, very, very solid design. Um, nothing, it's just kind of like European cars. You know how they might not have the fluff that some of the like American made, like a, a Nissan Maxima versus a BMW or a Volvo. Sometimes you, I don't know, I'm a car person, but you know, sometimes um, 
there's just something about that no fluff stability you know kind of luxury feeling and that's what this is <laughs> that was a crazy tangent but um so love the case love the feel of it and that is go lightly okay there's one color that i'm just crazy about and it might be this one l this is the color that every every lipstick line should include this is like the my beloved uh chanel pink accent um dior vip pink let's see i think i can't remember seems like by terry did one like this but it is just a good mid-tone bluish pink that has a little bit of sparkle to it i haven't even swatched it but i saw it when i looked at the tube see how it's like a blue pink like i would let's see what lip liner would i put with that hmm maybe sore max sore or you could just experiment you probably wouldn't need any it's got plenty of pigment and i just love it oh my goodness you could really I would, I could put a warm tone with it, but I would be willing to work with it to get it to look good. But that is just beautiful to me. Very silky. And, and when I was reading about them, she said, think of Tom Ford lipsticks without the fragrance because they're not heavily fragranced at all. At all. Like whatever I smell is probably just naturally occurring scents from the ingredients. So, and it's got that same, you know, weightiness, like the like the Charlotte Tilbury and the Tom Ford has. Okay, is this the last one? Go lightly. Um, okay, and then this is Johanna. And I believe Johanna is a quintessential pinky nude cream with major color payoff. Named after my baby daughter, it, like she, is an integral part of my daily routine. Beautiful. And all of these are nudes that have plenty of color. They're plenty saturated. Oh my goodness. Okay, that might be my most worn <laughs> already, even though I haven't worn it. So thank you so much to Rachel, the beauty professor, and Christian Audet for sending these to me. I am just extremely flattered that you would include me in this, and I love your choices. I love these colors. I think that they are colors that would look good on everyone. They're year round colors and it's a good variety. So thank you so much. Okay, and then I'll keep you close just to show you um, a few more swatches and I'll get you away a little bit. But this is another lipstick that I got this week and my friend Denise sent it to me and it is an Isabel Morant Smile lipstick and it's another collabor collaboration with L'Oreal. And I wore it yesterday and it is gorgeous. So it's a totally different tone than the ones I have here, but it is very, I'm gonna put it like this. I wore it with Kat Von D. Um, what is that? It's Kat Von D Lolita, which is an excellent lip liner and it looked beautiful, but I think you can carry it in several different ways, like with your lip liner, but just a beautiful, beautiful, and even though it's matte, see how it still has like a little bit of a sheen to it, was not one that just made my lips, you know, wrinkle up and disappear. It was just very pretty. So thank you, Denise, for this. And another thing I wanted to show you real quick is how much I am loving this gloss by Huda Beauty. And it's the one that I got when I was in Florida with Tammy, and it's angelic. And I wanted to put this gloss a little bit on this just to show you how pretty it is. It's just gorgeous. I closed my blinds and I don't have on any lights, but you can see how sunny it is here today. So if you wanted to, you know, put a little gloss with this color too, it's gorgeous. So that is a winner that we got. Okay, so I'm gonna finish showing you what I got from Charlotte Tilbury and I bought these from her website, but I bought this, a new blush. And I was, you know, I'm waiting for them to come out with Pillow Talk blush again. I think that's gonna be like the first of the year. But I was looking and I was trying to figure out if there was another one that had a little bit of shimmer in it. And this one does. So you can see it has kind of like a peachy ring around the edge that's shimmery. But then the center is pink. And I used it with that same brush, the MAC one with the long kind of loose white bristles. And I did um, 
used it on my cheeks today and it is beautiful, beautiful. I love it. I don't think, I think if you had to choose between this one and that Jouer blush duo, the rose gold I've been using, that is amazing. Everyone needs to get that. I don't think anyone would regret that Jouer blush duo, but this is right up there with it. Okay, and then I should have shown you this when I was closer up, but yesterday I ran in Ulta and I wanted to look at that, um, I think it was Born to Run, the Urban Decay palette. I saw someone doing a tutorial with it and I thought that I might want to pick it up, but when I looked at it, it was a little too orangey or too warm tone for me. So I ended up going over to Stila. I knew I had seen that they have their little Christmas kits out and Brooke uses the Stila glitters like this all the time on her eyelids. I used a little bit of this today on mine and I love these. This is the um, Kitten Karma and it's the one that we already had. So it comes with three of them, Kitten Karma, um, Tulip Twinkle, and I believe Brooke has the other one already. Let's see if it tells me which one it is. Smoldering Satin. Where is that? That isn't something that she would typically wear. But um, what these are good for is just tapping on over your shadow and they do not budge. And even though they're like twinkly and glittery, they, you don't feel them on there. It's not like putting a real, I don't know, you don't have to put glitter glue or anything like that. You never feel them and it just gives you that really pretty twinkle on your eye. And you know, I think they're just beautiful. Every time she wears these, and you can do just a little bit. Like today I did enough because I wanted you to be able to see it. But, um, you know, in real life or on an everyday basis, you don't have to do that. You could just put a very little bit and it's just so pretty. And then they also had little kits like this with just the shimmer shadows and not the glitter, just shimmery, but I really liked these. So that is something that you could pick up. And I still recommend that Buxom set that we got. We are still just wearing that all the time. The Hot Toddy and the, um, Let's see, Hot Tidy, Mud Slide, both of those go real well with the Kat Von D Lolita lip liner. Anyway, those are good deals to get. Okay, I'm saving the best till the end. Okay, this is something kind of out of the blue. Laura Lee, which a lot of you guys probably watch her. She's got probably, I think, five million subscribers. I like to watch her. I love her kitty cats. I think she's funny. She's, you know, silly. Some of the videos I don't watch, but all in all, I really like watching her and I like that she just does different things and I usually love her makeup when she really does it up like this. And I ended up watching her one day, I can't even remember what she was doing. It seems like it was, oh, I know what it was. It was palettes, this is exactly what it was, palettes that she liked that worked for her and ones that didn't. And she mentioned her Nudie Patootie palette and I just happened to click on it and look at it and I, I bought it and I got it this week and I love it. This is what I'm wearing today. Minimal fallout, beautiful colors. I think it's, um, I would say equally warm tone as cool tone. There's, because I have on bare is the main color that you're seeing in my crease. And that is a pinky, like a pinky warm tone. And these glitters, glittery colors, I believe I used a little bit of that one and a little bit of that one. They're beautiful. I just loved it. I just got it yesterday and I used it today, but as soon as I opened it up and looked at it, I knew I was gonna like it. Just gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I really like it. Very nice, very professional. She should be proud of herself. I think she's worked hard. So that is something I really liked. And I'm gonna, if I've already said this, I'm gonna save the best for last. Okay, this is something I ordered two things this week from Free People. <laughs> this reminds me of Tammy when she was trying to hold this up. But this is a, <laughs> it's tough to figure out. Okay, this is one of those, I know what it is. This one's got, um... okay, here it goes. It's one of those bralettes from Free People. They come in many, many, many different colors. And I just always am drawn to this I believe on the receipt it said orange, but it's kind of like a peachy, let's see, a peachy nude. I mean, I would say it's a fleshy peachy color. And I got it to wear under, like when I'm wearing one of those big, like that home, hometown sweatshirt from, 
American Eagle or something, something kind of big and sloppy. I just think this looks pretty underneath it if it shows. And, um, or you could wear this, say you're going to a party, which reminds me, I have one thing that I'm gonna order to wear to our Christmas party this year, and I'm gonna put it in in a little bit when I show you something else. But I might do a video coming up. I'm gonna entitle it, Can I Shop For You? Or something like that, because so many times I see stuff that if I went out more or if I needed this, you know, like it'll be something like I already have that I love but isn't available anymore. So I'm gonna get together maybe 10 things that I've been seeing lately when I've been shopping online and um, do a video on that because so many times I see stuff that I think would look good on someone else or maybe good for someone else's Christmas party or a New Year's Eve party or something that I don't need, but I wanna show you, so I might do that soon. But anyway, if you wore something like this, like in the red or even this color with a tuxedo blazer with some high-waisted black pants and heels or something, that would look pretty for like a New Year's Eve party. So anyway, love these. Okay, and I was planning on wearing this today, but it did, just didn't go with my vibe I had going with my eyes and my lips. But this is just a long sleeve t-shirt. Um, I love this detail up here. It kind of cups up around your neck and looks real pretty. And it is pretty low cut, but it does tie right here. And then you can see right here. Today, I just have on my um, Spanx like bralette and it looked fine with it. You could still see a little bit of the black, but it was fine. You didn't see the bra through here and it comes up enough this way that it's not too revealing. And then I love things that have that kind of blousy waistline because they're forgiving and they're just pretty. They add a, a nice little detail. But you can see, I hope you can see the seams and everything. Kind of like, I don't know if you guys remember in the, um, was it the 90s when we wore like the baby doll dresses with leggings? That's It reminds me of that, but of course shorter. It's about, like this and that does come in a lot of colors i think i'm going to probably end up getting maybe the white and the black i think that is a good shirt too to wear under like your moto jacket or a blazer or something that sometimes you like something simple under your jacket but sometimes you want something with a little bit more interest like especially with leggings and stuff like that okay here we go the star of the show, Dean Davidson, sent me a package this week and he is going to give us a code to start shopping his Black Friday sale early. And so he asked me, you know, to look at the collection and tell him what I liked. And so between me telling him what I liked and him picking out some things for me, I'm gonna show you the collection. So normally what I do is when he sends me a collection, I usually put on the biggest, you know, most fabulous thing that he has sent me. And I thought about doing that, but today I wanted to show you that not only is his jewelry four times like that, like I tell you, I always end up wearing his jewelry to Christmas parties or weddings or last year when we had a New Year's Eve wedding or something like that, but I also wanted to show you how he's got things that are, let's see if I can, I need a remote control for this camera. So he sent me his mini, Oh gosh, I had everything written down on paper, the names of everything, but I think I can remember most of it. The mini knockout studs. And if you've been following me very long, you know that one year, probably three or four years ago, he sent me the Onyx knockout studs, which are a little bit bigger than this. And I have worn them out. I mean, I have worn them so much, I've almost bent the back, taking them on and off so much. So these are the mini ones, and then this is the knockout necklace, and I think it is like the perfect little, and see how it, you know, it's, I love how it's um, not set, but how it is on the chain. I don't know how you would say that, the bezel or whatever, but, um, and it lays so pretty and it has that dimension. His jewelry as well is that same concept I was talking about, is being nice and fancy, with, but still simple. And um, I keep feeling like I still have lipstick on my hands. But um, I love these. And so while I've got you up close, I'm gonna show you these, which is like the knockout stud, but it's more of like the dangle. Oh, I love these. I love these so much. These, I'm gonna wear the heck out of these. And they do have like a back on them. They're not just the kind that you put in. And then these, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna save these to go with the necklace. 
Okay, this is something that I saw on his Instagram and I fell in love with it instantly. And it is, oh my goodness. Let me go get the paper that has all the names. Hold on just a second. Okay, so these are the Iconic Mini Drop. They are really unlike anything that I have. And if you're wondering, I have on Lincoln Park After Dark on. I couldn't remember if it was Lincoln Park After Midnight, but I can tell it's Lincoln Park After Dark on my nails. And so those are the Iconic Mini Drop in Onyx. And they would be just perfect. <laughs> Casablanca Pendant. And oh my goodness, look how gorgeous that is. So I chose Citrine because I have those Citrine earrings I will link them below that I love to wear. I feel like they go with my hair so well. They look so good with black. They're just something that I wear a lot. And then you can turn it on the other side for the labrad labrad labradite. <laughs> I'm trying to pronounce it too much. Labrador labradite. Goodness. And um, But look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh. And just that perfect weight. And, and this one is adjustable. So you can you know do that in a shorter version or longer now when i was talking about your tuxedo jacket with one of those bras and this would be gorgeous love it okay then these i love these these remind me of like i don't know like the 70s kind of like a little bit disco looking to me but these are the Shield earrings in small, and I kept them in here because I felt like you might be able to see them better on this little thing. I think they're so cool. See how they've got like the rhinestones and then the back of it is like a chain mesh. Just gorgeous. With your hair up, with your hair down. They're beautiful. They are so pretty here. Look, now that you've seen them in, let me take one out. Okay, I had to. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, get my hair out of the way. I love these. And that's how I would do it. I would do these like the straight part against my face and see how it kind of like just creates that beautiful line. Oh, they're just beautiful. Good job, Dean. And you can get them in the larger size, which would be cool too. But these I think are just big enough to give you a good look. Oh, I love them. Okay, then, okay, let me go ahead and show you my ring. This is the fan ring. Let's see, make sure I'm saying the mosaic fan ring. And you can get this in several different stones. And on the website, he shows where the girl is wearing two of them so that they come together. It's really cool. And I told him to choose the stone. And I believe this is Labradorite. So it has all the different colors it's so beautiful but brooke and i were opening these together and she said that is neat look how it's still like each stone is so dimensional like it's still chiseled so neat hand cut for each ring it's just gorgeous and very comfortable to wear like not heavy and not it doesn't bulk out on the sides or anything it's just one of those that you put on and you kind of forget that you even have it on so I love that. And look, look at this. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, love his stuff. Okay, and then last but not least is the Maze Chain Necklace. And I this is what I was tempted to wear today, but I ordered something to wear to, I don't know if I'm gonna wear it to our Christmas party or where I'm gonna wear it, but I'll put it down below. And it is a Norma Kamali, I believe it's velvet, like purpley jumpsuit that I want to wear for the holidays. And I've decided I'm not gonna wait until the week of the party to order something. I wanted to go ahead and order a few things now and then have some things to choose from. But this is what I'm gonna wear with it. And look at how gorgeous it is. And I want you to see the detail. See how it's, and see how light it is. And then, and it is a magnet that slides on like this. And so it's still locked in place. You have to slide it like that. So let me show you how pretty it is. And it's easy to put on, which to me is a bonus. But, I mean, look how good it looks. Even just, let me go ahead and stand up. 
even just with something casual. I mean, it's awesome. And, oh my gosh, I'm not taking that off. And to go with it are the hoops. And these are the maze chain hoop to go with it or without. <laughs> they would look good on their own. They don't have to go with it, but I love these too. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Dean. As usual, I just love it all. Today, before I forget, I pulled this out. This is kind of like a, you know, cooler weather fragrance. And today it's sunny, it's beautiful. It's so sunny I had to close my blinds. And it's got that crisp, good fall, Thanksgiving feeling out. So I pulled this out, which is the replica lipstick on, and it is beautiful. When I put it on, it gave me butterflies. It is just the most feminine, sexy scent, but it is not overpowering. It's not, it's not, you know, Chanel number no. five. You know what I mean? It's, um, when I put it on, I just sprayed it in the room because it just smells so good. But um, this is something I really recommend. And let me know down below if you'd like a fragrance video. Like, I've got so many that I like, but I'll pick like five good ones for fall and winter and gifts and stuff. So that's one that I love. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my outfit of the day because I'm pretty excited to show you these jeans. I have not put on a pair of jeans that I love this much in a long, long, long time. And I have Alex Garza to thank. And when she described these, it was like the perfect description of what I wanted and the issues that I had. I had been wanting a high-waisted, skinny, but not, not skinny like a legging jean, but just a good skinny basic jean that wasn't so tight up here that it made my, you know, my whole stomach hang over or killed me. And um, so she described that and she said that she had been loving them. It was in her, you know, what she'd been loving video. And these are the Levi's Premium Skinny. And they are, this size is 29 by 30 and they're 98, but I believe Levi's might be having a sale right now. And one thing I wanna say though, these have some stretch but they're still like that true jean. They're not a thin, you know, jegging feel. They're still a true, thick, um, look good, hold you in jean. You know, they're just wonderful. They're like the, uh, the perfect jeans. But be careful when you are, when you click on this link, you'll see different colors and some of them are not stretch. So if, if that doesn't matter to you, I love all the colors, but um, so you can see they're high-waisted, they are button fly, they fit like a dream. So if you're a Kirby like me, but you don't have a, I don't have a teeny tiny waist, but I went with my old school pumps. I feel like myself again today. These are some Kate Spade pumps I bought a couple of years ago, and you don't have to roll them up. They're not too long, but I just like the look of skinny jeans rolled up with a pair of pumps and um i just love them and then the shirt i have on today is just one of my good old michael lauren tops that i love and this is the i can't remember it's the henley i can't remember the exact name but i'll put it down below so this is my look for the day and i'll probably put on um probably my moto jacket my nana bean moto jacket okay then the last thing i'm going to show you is a pair of boots that i got and i have just gone boot crazy there is like five pair of boots that i want and one pair i'm going to link down below i am waiting for them to go on sale because they're like 700 dollars, and i just don't want to spend that much if I don't have to, but it's a pair of fry boots that are white with a flame up the side. They are so cool. I think they would look so good with all black, and these look equally as good with all black. They're Kate Spade. I got them on sale, and they're just perfect. They're just that little bit of a Western look, but if you don't want to go too far, this would be the perfect way to do it. And I love how it is the like oxblood color with the black stitching and they fit like a dream. They're true to size and no zipper. You just step into them and I love that because it gives a little bit of that flared look. You know, that looks so good when you're wearing leggings and then like a long blazer or a long cardigan and these kind of 
flare out just a little bit and um, perfect amount of point. These are for someone that want, you want to kind of get in that style, but you don't want to go too far. These will be perfect and they're beautiful. Okay, and I think that's it. Um, I've told you about my ring, my earrings, my nail polish, my fragrance, everything. So I'm sure I probably forgot to tell you something or show you something. So I will probably be back again this weekend. Um, Brooke and I, she's getting ready right now. We're going to run to Target and get some stuff. One thing I saw there last week and get some other things that I wanted to get there. I'm, oh, I know what it is. A lot of you told me that you liked the Target flannel sheets. Um, I may order a set off of QVC, the brand that you guys told me, I can't remember what it was, but the only thing is they didn't have solid white. They had solid cream and I really want solid white for my bed. And then um, someone said cuddle dud sheets from Kohl's. So my mom was in there and she called me and I was like, oh, while you're in there, look and see if they have the cuddle dud sheets and they don't have them here yet. The lady said she was expecting them for Christmas. So that was one thing I wanted to look at today. So thanks for all your suggestions on that too. So have a wonderful weekend with your family and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.